much. Many children, parents, and teachers are still getting used to distance learning, especially now that it'll be happening for the remainder of the school year. Fox 13's Sydney Glenn checked in with some teachers and parents to see how things are going. Sydney. Yeah, Bob and Kelly, parents and teachers admit it has been a challenge. But the good news is today we spoke with the coordinator of all of this digital teaching and learning over at the State Board of Education, and he assures me that they are going to be assessing and handling any sort of learning gaps during these unprecedented times. Just review our seven habits and talk about what they are and why they're important. Let's face it. To go from learning like this first things first. to distance learning is a big adjustment for everyone. I'm tired of fighting. She's done. She's tired. She doesn't want to do this. Some days are filled with meltdowns for both the parents and the kids, especially now that everyone knows the classrooms won't be reopening this school year. I cried a little bit. Samia Nielsen has two kids in school and she admits it's been hard. There's been days where it's, it goes till nine o'clock at night that she finishes, but it does get finished because I know she needs to. Fellow mom Natalie Alfipo feels the same way, especially since she's trying to work as well. Just hang tight. Let me finish this call and then I'll help you, okay? Okay. Can I take a break? You can take a break. Go take a break. So that is that is my day. That is an example of my day. And while teachers like Susan Marshall know it's hard, she wants to make sure no one quits because she's seen a lot of kids not engaged. Up until this week, we're probably just shy of maybe half. Only about half of her students doing the work, but that number is going up because educators won't give up. I know other teachers in my building have sent like personal handwritten letters home and individual phone calls to parents and now we have support staff doing the same thing um, to try to connect every week more and more. It's a time of great change and adjustment, but a time where no one is getting left behind. During the, the summer months, schools will begin assessing and addressing potential learning gaps. Yeah, Todd Call with the State Board of Education says they're going to start looking at those learning gaps as soon as this summer and then into next year, offering things like tutoring and small groups for kids to make sure that everybody ends up on the same page and learns everything that they need to to move forward in school. Live in downtown Salt Lake City, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. Thanks, Sydney.